Welcome everybody back to Star Ocean 3 part number 80. I'm Cows Crazy. Uh, in the last part we got back here to Elicor, and in between parts I have done a lot. A lot of leveling, still not on Pepita. I've been trying so hard to level up Pepita, and I seem to be failing. She seems to die too damn easy, and I've been trying to give her more health and all this stuff. We're still trying. I'm not gonna give up on her, but maybe this is why I didn't select her on my last run. But I wouldn't have known that, so I don't know. <laughs> maybe I did know it through some research. I don't know, but I'm working on it, okay? Anyways, here in South Paterni, there was a guy walking around with a sword. I think we've seen him many times, but anyways, I talked to him. And at this point in the game, you can give him $60,000 and he'll work for you to become an inventor. So over here on this side, you go into your invention shop and you use him, Cliff, and Fate. And you do some smithery along with the smithy's hammer that we got back on that other place, that planet schmickety that I talked about before. We get the smithy's hammer and then you look for... As you're going through, you're looking for something that's going to cost around $400 to make. Um, doesn't It's not an exact science, but it's around $400. I think I failed a couple times when I was trying to make it. And then, once it finally works, you will get... Yes, look at my level. See, Papita's at 30, but Mirage is at 50. I got Mirage up to normal level, but at the cost of making fate over leveled and if you want to if you want to complain that fate's over leveled go right ahead because i suck at this game and i need every over level that i possibly deserve and need but anyways on to equipment um so that makes fate's best sword in the game the vein slay and i know we can get even better through item creation but i'm not very good at that it took me forever just to figure out how to make the vein slay this is the best possible weapon in not post game yeah okay so let's head back to the castle town we'll all show you where i got basically everybody else's best weapon oh yeah i accidentally created a really great weapon for Mirage or Cliff the the gauntlets uh, some I think mythical gauntlets I don't even know how I did it I accidentally did it so I didn't get to make two pair for each of them so I figure since they're very similar fighters I think Mirage is actually more powerful but I don't know since they're similar fighters whoever's in my party will get to wear them which is Mirage right now because she hasn't had a chance to be in my party but um, so yeah, here in this town, if you come all the way up here, and you go to the left, just before you enter the castle, I don't think we ever walked down here, oh, there's Mirage too, anyways, but if you're walking around here, this house right here is where I bought a lot of my items, and now this was not available before, if you remember earlier in the game, we did the Ruttle and Rumina side quest telling them where to go and helping them out now they have a whole bunch of fantastic items that are on sale to you right now and most of these items are the best items in the game so yeah you get the ice falchion for Nell and gravity lasers and some good armors and the best shoes in the game and wizard robes lots of stuff oh we actually need a fresh stage so it's only $310 I'll purchase one right now I didn't have maximum sage. But that's the only thing I want to work on. Sage only gives you 30% of your energy back. Um, in other Star Ocean games, there's these things called Resurrection Elixirs. I believe you might remember them for the first two games. Those are things I want to try to create in a workshop. I know it can be done. That's going to be my next research project. Because those will give me much higher energy results than regular restoration. And that's what I would like going forward, especially heading towards the final boss. Um, let's see, private action. There should be one inside this church, unless I have screwed it all up. Are they not here? Oh, maybe they're not. Maybe I have screwed it all up. She's here, but I don't see Nell. Nell was supposed to be in here. Hmm. 
that that saddens me maybe I did screw it all up oh man the res the resolution to a very long hmm wonder what those strange creatures that suddenly appeared in the lands are they are t terrible presence like some physiological manifestation a concrete runological force they're unlike anything this world has ever seen well that's for sure yeah see know that quest with the king and all that I swore it was supposed to be resolved here today um, well that's that's very sad because I don't see Nell in here Unless I'm just completely doing it wrong, I must have missed something. If you miss something, she won't be in there, and that that makes me sad. It makes me want to cry a little bit, because I really wanted to work hard at that that romance, the king storyline we had going there. I'm, I'm a little upset that that failed, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, even looking at my notes, this is exactly where she's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. So it looks like I must have failed somehow. And that... That displeases me. Unless... Well, she's still in here, but I swear I did it right. Alina Farms room. Nope. Maybe I did do it wrong. That... That saddens me. Anyways, let's head up and see the Queen, because... That's what we're here for. Tried so hard for that PA. Damn it. Oh well, we're here to see the Queen. Oh, it's not voice acted? I'm sorry, I thought it was. Well, what a pleasant surprise this is. We never truly expected to see you again. Your Majesty, I believe that strange winged beings have been spotted here on Elacor as well? Yes, this is true. We are currently working with Aeroglyph to find some solution. However, the battle is not going well. That is why we have returned to Elacor. Please, explain. Yes, Your Majesty. We are trying to defeat those small angels, those convictors at the source. To do this, we have to bore Aquarius' treasure, the sacred orb. <gasps> the orb? Impossible! Silence, LaSalle! Fate, will lending you the orb allow you to defeat these beings? Yes, we will not fail. Just thinking long and hard about this one. We have no choice but to ask for your help once again. We have suffered defeat after defeat to these monsters. Very well, Fate. We will lend you the orb. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. We are depending on you. Well, at least he explained it to her in a way that, you know... <laughs> wasn't you don't exist your majesty you're just a video game so at least you know it was some what nice about it <laughs> so back down to the temple can we sneak through the temple this way there's like an upper entrance I know there is like over no well I thought there was now I'm gonna waste more time looking for the upper entrance just because I thought there was an upper entrance. Like, but maybe not. Oh, or maybe over here? This is, no, no, this is just the conference room. Okay, do you want to see? Yeah, I am. Just listen to the. Oh, was over here? No, okay. That's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go downstairs. <laughs> I'm always trying to make things more complicated. Uh, front of the building. And back into the temple. Back into the temple. Back into. See, there is an upper entrance. I know there is. Because there's catwalks and all that stuff. 
Can we talk to the lady that's like the big priestess up here? Oh, can't. Your actions, born of your effort, paid in blood, have accumulated one on top of the other, like a mountain. The greatest of all events shall follow, and it shall be worthy of being called a miracle. Miracles are not something you merely wait for it to happen. They occur only when someone takes actions worthy of producing them. You have made a tremendous effort this far. I just know that another miracle shall occur. Well, let's go create a miracle run. As so we head back down into the secret passage. Gotta get. Why didn't we just take the orb with us before? You know, that would have been much better. Put it in a much closer place. So, we've been here before, um, but the enemies are new and bad and bigger than ever before, because why wouldn't they be? But the puzzles and treasures should not have been reset. So any treasures you got before are still gone. And any puzzles that you got... Well, okay, well I missed that brick. I'm supposed to get on top of it, and I failed. Alright. I have to wait for it to come all the way back down again. But the enemies will be tougher, so just... You know, be wary of that. That's great that more things are on sale. Like, there's not enough stupid items in the shop already. Just lots and lots of items in the shop. That I don't really need, to be honest with you. Oh my god, look at that. It's like a freaking winged enforcer in here. And here we go. It is an ambush. But do you want? We will use our air. Oh my god, it's not just one. It's like some. It's one of those lizard things, too. Oh my god, and I'm frozen. And that's the end of Papita. Um. Can I. Oh no, okay. I thought I had. Damn it! Look at. Even as high leveled as I am. Like, I think this is gonna show all my weaknesses right now. Like, how weak I truly am. This is ridiculous. Like, this is gonna show that I'm just not ready for any of this. Oh my god, this is so bad. Look at this. It's just one little dude, and I still can't get the job done. Okay. Um, we want Fresh Sage. See, I'm wasting my Fresh Sage on the first friggin' battle here. This is ridiculous. Oh, come on now. Oh my god. They're gonna kill me. Ridiculous. 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 Here we go. This is absolutely ridiculous here. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> we got an air raid in, which is great. Okay, if we can get- okay, we did get rid of one of them. And when there we go. <laughs> I get all 5,000 of the experience. That was the one little guy. <laughs> I'm so not ready for this. Okay, Pepita, that just proves that you died way too quickly. And, uh... Yeah, trying to continue to level you up through the story is not gonna be the best idea. So, Mohaj should be fine if you had some s decent support. So, let's get. Well, first. Oh, hold on. First, let's use Sophia's Resurrection to bring you back to life. That'll be a good idea. And then, her fairy light to heal everybody. That'll be a good idea. But, then, we're going to re replace Pepita for now with Nell. Um, because Nell's a lower level, and Nell should be fine for now. But we need, it looks like there's either Sophia or Nell are going to join me in the extremely high ranks. Uh, because we need at least one healer. Like, we just, we just do. We just, we just need a healer, because it's ridiculous. Okay. So here we go. 
Let's... Oh, yeah, these blocks here. We gotta get... Oh, crap. That other... I didn't... Okay, so that other block just hit me in the head, gave me a concussion. That's no good. Okay, run away. Nope, I did again. Ran to another block, got another concussion. That's no good. Okay, gotta solve these stupid block puzzles. Okay, let's go. Now we gotta get under this one. This one comes down. Then we can run away from it. Okay, there we go. Through that block puzzle, it should be through this door and then to the left, right? Right? Should be through this door, right? Back through. Is it back through here? Oh, yeah, because here's the save point. That's right. And then, yet again, there should be a new boss battle just up and around the corner. A new boss battle. So let's go. Really? I was close enough to that thing? Wow, I guess I really didn't judge that one. I thought I was waiting at an appropriate level. No, this is not the new boss level. But this will be an appropriate test of my new party. Okay. Because this thing shouldn't be as difficult. Okay. This thing should die much easier than what we fought before. People shouldn't die. And I shouldn't need hundreds of sages. It should... Oh man. Come on. Why isn't this... Oh my god, it turned invisible. That's no good. That's no good. That's no good. There we go. But it's dead. And somehow, Mirage went through all her magic power? Hmm. I'm not sure why that is. What'd she do to, like, use so much magic? We do have some blackberries with us, but... That's a little weird. I didn't expect her to do that. What was she doing? Okay. So here we go. Big boss battle coming up in here. Whoa! Look at that symbol. And it's... It's from Zelda? It's the big eye boss? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this can't be right. We already defeated it. No, no. If you did, it wouldn't be standing in front of you right now. So here we go. Boss battle with a huge freaking eyeball. This thing should be so bad, and if it is, then I just truly suck beyond anything that I could possibly suck and imagine. Okay. Air Raid is so important to me. I love this move. The only problem is it sucks my health away, like, no to mole. But, I love how it stuns the enemy. I love how you can get multiple hits in at once. If I can get in behind the eye so it doesn't really have its complete focus on me, that's always good too. Uh, I don't know what that red glow is, but I can't be good. <laughs> okay. It's shooting its lasers. It freaking lasers on its head. Freaking laser beams. Alright. Are you gonna heal? Oh, no. Hold That's why she's been petrified. Okay. Damn it. Don't be petrified. We need to get you unpetrified. Where's my regular sage, please? Regular sage, unpetrify you. Now you can be healed. Wish you could heal them while they're petrified and then unpetrify them, but fine, we'll do it the right way around. Is this thing still not dead? Seriously? I figured I would have had it dead by now, honestly. Like, I feel like I've done enough to it. Especially with my. What the hell? Look at all those numbers that were just flying across the screen. That was... That was a lot of numbers there. Probably on both our accounts there. Holy smokes. Okay, see, I got two Resurrection Lushers, but I think I earned those. Um, mental Enhancers... I, I forget where I got the Mental Enhancers from, but I would really like to get some more somehow. Um, where did I purchase them from? Was it back on Gementi? It's probably a place I can't get them from now. 
which really sucks. But I'll figure that out. I forget where I got those mental enhancers, but I would I would really like more of them because they do a lot more than blackberries. And there it is again. There's that special move, but we got them. We got them. Ten thousand experience. Like seriously, if only Pepita could survive this match, like I could, you know. But she wouldn't, and we would die because of it. Like, we can't go in with only two people on this match. We needed all three of us just to win. And Pepita not helping out and just sitting there being a piece of lump wouldn't really be great. Just get 10,000 experience, but then she'd level up like really quickly. That'd probably be like at least two levels for her right there at her current state of development. But, anyways, we got a boss down, and uh, we should retreat like we did last time, and, whoa, whoa, watch out for the huge one, no! Ooh, in our current state, we can't afford this, so, escape? Good, and we can. We just want to retreat back to the healing point, well, not the healing point, but the save point, to make sure that boss stays dead. Cause that's what we want, that's what we desire, is that boss to stay dead. We don't want any more big eyes all over up in our area. Anyways, the save is successful, and in the next episode, we will enter back into the Shrine of Kadan, where there will be a lot more crystal statues and evil enemies trying to stop us from getting the friggin' orb. Oh goody. So until then everybody, I've been Cal's Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And of course, moo!